Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Earlier today, I let you know about Microsoft's eight reasons why you should upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11. Video will be linked. Now, this video is going to focus on a couple of reasons why Microsoft thinks you should be moving over to the new Outlook from the classic Outlook. And as I've mentioned numerous times on the channel, the new Outlook is something you either like or you don't. So if you do fall into the camp of you don't like new Outlook, then this is Microsoft's encouragement to try and get you over from classic Outlook, as an example, to the new Outlook. Now, this is all according to a tech community blog post Microsoft posted yesterday on the 24th of June. And for what it's worth, I'll leave the post linked down below in the description because there's quite a lot of content in here. But once again, I'm just going to go through a couple of pointers from that post to do a comparison while Microsoft feels you need to move on. Now, first of all, Microsoft says that Outlook for Windows's new agile code base has made it easier for stability, performance, and security by design. And it mentions that it delivers features that were never implemented in classic Outlook. So as an example, it says now you can enjoy top requested features in Outlook, like pinning important emails, tab search to find people, RKL sync, scheduled mail, new themes, and mailbox folders, and so on. So that's Microsoft telling you about the built-in innovation. Then another feature, which is a paid feature, and most of these features Microsoft is talking about regarding the new Outlook are actually hidden behind a 365 subscription. And that's also a big one is that Microsoft is making a lot of these apps and services subscription based if you want the top notch features. And the new Outlook is no exception. Now, Microsoft says that for those aiming to maximize productivity with Copilot, it's adding Copilot features into Outlook every month. Now, that's hidden behind a paywall. You don't get that in the so-called normal free version of Outlook like I have, the new Outlook. And they say that Copilot features are rolling out into Outlook every month. So if you are behind a subscription, you're going to see a lot more Copilot features coming your way. And then here's one that is, to some extent or the other, available in the free version. So if we head to our general page offline, Microsoft says Outlook for Windows already supports core offline capabilities to read and compose emails and boot while offline. And some of the new capabilities that are going to be rolling out would include search, attachments, event creation, updates, deletion, and RSVP regarding offline capabilities. And it's going to be interesting to see if all of those make it into the free version or not. I don't think so. And here's a big one that I see all the time on the channel asking me this question. And it's regarding PST support. Once again, you have to be subscribed to Microsoft 365, not available in the free version. And Microsoft says the new Outlook for Windows now supports reply and forwarding emails in the PST, adding PST folders to favorites and dragging and dropping emails from the PST to the mailbox or vice versa. Now, those are all paid features. You don't get that in the normal version. And another reason Microsoft says you should move over is Outlook is deeply integrated with the Windows OS, which it says brings functionality that you expect of a what they're calling a rich native app. Now, that's up for debate because Outlook, unlike the classic Outlook, although Microsoft is calling it a native app, is actually a web app. They carry on to say this includes opening attachments in the native default app users choose, dragging and dropping attachments to the desktop, windowing notifications, and more, according to Microsoft. With Microsoft saying another reason is more seamless switching across devices. So when you add a new device, as an example, you don't need to reconfigure your settings. That's just one reason they give. There's a lot more. Check the post out if you'd like some more information. And then Microsoft mentions that transitioning from classic Outlook to the new Outlook for Windows is intended to be gradual, allowing you ample time, it says, to explore and become comfortable with its new capabilities it recommends using the toggle in Classic Outlook to try the updated Outlook for Windows experience. And although this is the case where Microsoft says it's a gradual 
process allowing you to become comfortable, Microsoft has been very aggressive with its marketing tactics about getting users over onto the new Outlook, especially from Mail and Calendar to the new Outlook. And as I've posted previously, video will be linked. Classic Outlook is supported until 2029. Check the video out for more info. And then Microsoft finishes off saying a great way to facilitate the transition is to run Outlook for Windows side by side with Classic Outlook. I think that can get a little bit confusing. And it encourages you to spend as much time as possible working in the updated Outlook experience. Now that's Microsoft's thoughts. What are your thoughts? Let me know down below. I'm always interested to hear. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.